Hello everyone. Um, I've got this uh, little uh, Arduino shield from uh, IC Station. They told me to review it, so I was like, you know, all right, why not? So they sent me one, and uh, let's just see what's inside. So get it inside this. That's the barcode and the rest of the stuff at the back. You don't need that. And it comes stuck to this. So even if you push this down, I can still feel the the pins. But anyway, that's that. And looking at the bag, we got a lot of. Uh, I don't know if it's visible or not. A lot of flux residue at the back. Let me just bring it up. We can zoom in and we can see. So the quality is not bad compared to the other stuff I've seen from China. But we do have a flux residue over there. We've got some residue over here. And we got all the way there, there so it's it's okay and this is the top bit uh, there's a lot of stuff going on just uh, at the first glance when you look at it a bit convoluted what is going on but uh, if you just uh, take a moment you will be able to see so we've got the inputs that all connects to the Arduino and we've got over here unfortunately I don't have any Arduino to show you um, that's because I don't do any work with them so this basically just plugs into your Arduino which has got the same uh, pin layout as this so it just connects there and then you got your uh, connectors here and there and there so we got the power external power coming here and then we got the outputs over there and we got lots of other uh, uh, holes for uh, another pin headers to expand basically this. So we got the, let me just grab something. So I can just uh, show you what I mean. So we got a whole rail of five volts over there that we can solder ourselves. Then we got a whole grand over here. Then we got AU5. I don't know what that is. Is that Arduino five volt? And then this is another five volt. Then we got, uh, got this little pin header here and then we got 5 volt ground 9 volt and uh, there's no voltage regulator on this board so presumably you have to if because I have here it says uh, 5 to 9 volt so I don't know what it probably uses the voltage regulator on the Arduino itself and then we got a little LED here it says external power LED so when you power from here you will get this LED coming on then we got the reset button which um, obviously when you plug this into your Arduino um, everything on the Arduino itself will be covered so it's a good idea that they brought the reset button up over here so you don't have to dick around with your Arduino and trying to press the reset button so you can just press it at the top here and reset and go back to resetting your uh, the whole thing and then we got uh, we got empty holes for a capacitor so we've got C8 C5 and C6 or was it C16 C15 and C8 or 6 there we go not all clear then we got a TTL IC here which is a 595D 7459 so I think that's a shift register 590 yeah probably a shift register and then we've got a capacitor and we've got some uh, resistor network there and then we got our another capacitor and the capacitor brands are uh, Tang X I don't know if it's visible there we go Tang X Never heard of them, but if I was into Arduino and uh, I'll probably use this a lot, I would change the capacitors myself to a non brand just to be on the safe side because this um, 
you know this is used for uh, motors and stepper motors and stuff like that and you get a lot of uh, interference feeding back from uh, the coils of the motors obviously so it is a good idea to have because that kind of interference can uh, can mess around with your uh, microcontroller and the rest of the stuff if you're doing sensitive work so it'd be a good idea to uh, remove this and put proper non-brand capacitors and uh, these ICs which are the drivers for the for the motors uh, they are ST brand there we go with the visible there we go STL2930 and then some other mumbo jumbo there now these chips are uh, rated for um, in the rating voltage if I look at the data sheet there we go we have the data sheet so we got there we got supply voltage 36 volt and then the other at some of so the maximum supply voltage is 36 volt you can go with this so I have no idea why the capacitors on these board on this board are marked 16 volts and you can see there so if I put say 20 volt or anything above 16 volt these capacitors are gonna blow their ass off so that is not a good practice and uh, not a lot of thoughts gone into this because presumably these capacitors must be somewhere down filtering the main and somewhere down here with the actual motors where the outputs are so not a good idea to have a low value capacitor when the ICs that you have here are rated to go up to 36 volt I'm not sure if anyone's gonna push it up to 36 volt but if this there then it'd be a good idea to put these at least 35 or above and then you know mark this as uh, I don't know maximum 20 volt to 24 volts yeah so if you look at the de description that they have on the website if I just zoom out there we go so we have here 4H bridge L 29.3D chipset provides 0.6 ampere channel 1.2 peak with the thermal shutdown protection blah blah 4.5 volt to 25 volt so it says on this description on the website that this can go up to 25 volt so if I put 25 volt up here then the capacitors are going to blow their ass off so not a really good idea to say that it goes up to that but then you got this a 16 volt and um, this one which is a tantalum capacitor it's a 106 but I'm not sure about the voltage on it it's not very clear is that 35 volt Let's see. There we go. Not very clear what it is. It can't be a 52 volt. It's probably a 5 volt because it is. Yeah, it is connected to the rails of the TTL logic there. So that I see. So that is probably 5 volt. So that's fine within there. But these these other capacitors. Are not fine and uh, I'll probably will change them if I was gonna use Arduino uh, other than that there's not much going on here so we got uh, our motor connection so we got motor 1 motor 2 then we got a grand in the middle and over here we got motor 3 and motor 4 and we got a grand in there there's a lot of empty spaces for the capacitors I wonder if those capacitors that you have see here are for the actual motor itself and these are just for the power rails I'm not 100% sure what are they doing here well, let's see so we got VSS and V so we got VS and VSS of the pin of the IC are pin 10 and pin 20 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it's a 16 pin IC 
so let's get the meter out let's just do a quick check to make sure to see if the actual capacitors that they have here are on the power line or are connected to somewhere else now if I can find my uh, trust the old uh, meter Yep, if I just get my uh, probe quick voltmeter, and we just put it to continuity. I don't know if that's uh, audible, if you can hear that. But what I want to do, I just want to quickly um, just get, okay, so if this is the negative, and we got 8, 9, 10. So no. Okay. That is weird. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four and five at ground, and then we got the other two there at ground. And then where is the positive? Then we got the positive as pin eight. So that's weird. Oh yeah, there we go. I was looking at the wrong diagram. So we got uh, a pin 8 as VSS and then we got pin 16, sorry, VS and then pin 16 as VSS and then we got the 4, uh, four and 5 and 12 and 13 as the ground in the middle. So, so if we got these as ground I just want to check so this is a ground yep so this capacitor that we see here invisible yep so we've got this capacitor here which is connected to the ground and let's see and we got Okay, and we've got this capacitor here connected to some other line let's see okay so here we've got two of the capacitors are connected to the power line for the ICs so yep I was right so if you this IC goes up to 36 volts and under uh, here we go under uh, description they got 4.5 to 25 volts. So if I'm going to stick 25 volts into here, these two capacitors are going to blow their ass off and uh, probably cause a lot of damage and scare me, you know, scare the user. So it's, if you're going to use this with that kind of voltage, definitely you got to change the, uh, the capacitors. But other than that, let's just put some voltage into it and see what we get. So, we're going to ground, we're going to be testing this, I just want to put some voltage and see what we get, if the power, power line comes on or not. Okay, so we have... I'm putting 10 volts into this. So we've got our positive going here, and we've got our ground going into this. Yeah, and you can see a tiny little LED that comes on there, indicating the power on. I don't know if it's visible or not. Let's turn the light off. There we go. Kind of, you can see the little tiny glow there. And obviously nothing is warm and everything is nice and dandy. But yeah, other than the other than the capacitors, everything else looks alright. Let me just take this. Doesn't do anything. So yeah, let's just take this off. There we go the 
these connectors are very sturdy this is a little bit wobbly for the power but the rest these are all okay so we've got you can see we've got a lot of empty spaces for uh, capacitors we've got a whole three of them over there we've got one over there and we got three more over there and then one over there so why have they left those empty i am not sure but other than that the build quality is okay we've got a lot of ground planes at the top and we've got a lot of ground planes at the bottom which is a good idea so we can see here these two over there and these two over there are uh, the grounds and we've got a massive ground at the bottom which is uh, mentioned in the data sheet for the IC That's, this is how you're supposed to uh, uh, lay the track for these ICs uh, but yeah it's all in all it's not bad apart from the capacitors um, you know putting a non-brand capacitor is not going to cost that much and the most important thing is the voltage rating on these capacitors are not within the spec of the ICs even in the description they've put up to 25 volt and these are 16 volt so that is not good but yeah other than that it's uh, it's I guess it's okay looks decent and uh, it's much better than the other stuff I've seen from China so all in all not bad there we go anyway uh, that's the IC station uh, motor shield motor controller shield for Arduino there we go it's available on their website you, you need to type in the motor controller shield on their search area and it will come up anyway thanks for uh, the watching if you like the video please like always give it a thumbs up and until next video which will probably be a teardown of something nice and wonderful from uh, eBay store of weird and wonderful stuff have a good evening good day and uh, we'll see you next time thank you for watching bye